Well, I was trying to keep busy uh, up until Christmas doing some regional stuff, and now here we are stuck in Salt Lake as I-80 shut down on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker, filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. <coughs> All right, just pulling out of uh, this plastics place I just picked up at Premier Plastics in Salt Lake City. And you're saying, hey, weren't you in Salt Lake City not too long ago? Yeah, I was. That was at the Sap Brothers. Remember I had to park on the fuel island? The end of the night. street, turn right. That was, uh, what was that, Monday night. Got a low Tuesday. Going to uh, Aurora. Was that Tuesday? No, that was Monday. That's right. I was there Sunday night. Yeah, so got a load Monday. Picked up in Ogden. Went to Costco in Aurora, Colorado, Denver area. And uh, delivered that Tuesday. And uh, then got another load Tuesday that picked up a Coca Cola. Coming back here, well, went to Rock Springs, is where it was. I delivered this morning in Rock Springs, Wyoming. And then uh, got another load back here in Salt right Lake City stop sign. to go back to Denver for tomorrow. Well, you know, the problem is there's that big storm coming through and I-80 shut down. Yeah, completely. So when I left Rock Springs this morning, I was on my way to Salt Lake to come pick up this load and the road started getting really terrible. I'll show you some video of that here in just a minute. Uh, one half mile, turn left on south 3200 west, then take the first right. So I decided, you know, I better just go ahead and reserve a spot at Sap Brothers just in case they shut the road down. And sure as crap they did. Now, so I can't deliver this one tomorrow, and of course the place that's uh, delivering two, they're going to be closed Friday and Monday. So I wasn't planning on going back out till Tuesday anyway, but now i got to sit on this load all weekend long. That's okay. I'll get home for Christmas. I'll be home for Christmas. You can count on me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyway, uh, that was the clutch trucker version. So, you know, I just hope, you know, at least I have a, hopefully they'll open it up by Friday is what I'm hoping. I don't think it's going to be open anytime tomorrow. And Turn certainly- left at the traffic light, then they, take the first right. If they do open it up tomorrow, like late in the afternoon, well, I really don't want to get out there when you can't really see how icy the road is. Temperatures are supposed to plummet. Wind chills are supposed to be, um, I was just talking to my wife in the Cheyenne area, like 50 below zero. Uh, it's going to be ridiculous. So, might just have to wait till Friday if the road's open then. And uh, at least I'll, I'll be home for Christmas and all that. And then I told the broker, I said, all right, well, here's what you need to do. Do a favor for me. You need to start looking for something good for me for Tuesday morning, what do you think? So since I have to wait till then, I'll go down at 8 a.m. Tuesday morning deliver. Said, so start looking, let's talk, we'll talk again tomorrow. But if I can get something else lined up that's going to be good, I think you kind of owe me that, so help me out a little bit. So he's going to try to work on that, so there's where we are. So, right now, if you can look, I'm going to try to zoom in here on the dash cam for you. You can see all the snow up over on the mountains. Yeah, it was real nasty. Boy, the last, oh, 100 miles or so in the western part of Wyoming. Like I say, I got some video coming up of that to show you. And uh, then coming down into Salt Lake, it was hailing. <laughs> so this is kind of an odd weather system we're dealing with. All right, I think I'm heading straight back onto the highway here, right? One mile, take exit 15B yeah. on the right to I-215 North. Just a few miles away over to the Sap Brothers. And hopefully this time they won't have double booked my spot. What do you think? All right, as we're uh, getting off here at the exit for the old Sap Brothers, hopefully, uh, yeah, they will not screw up and double sell my spot again. I might just go ahead and reserve it for another day, <clears throat> since I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting out of here tomorrow or Friday. Kind of up in the air. Uh, kind of a very extreme, cold, right blistery, lane. wintry thing. So, you know, might as well play it on the safe side. I'll reserve it another day and we'll 
You'll see I won't I won't have to pay for the second day unless I need it. So that's the nice thing about the Sap Brothers system as opposed to the TA and Petro. Once you've reserved one with TA or Petro, you bought it if whether you use it or not. That's a little annoying, I think, but you know, what are you going to do? Alrighty, baby. Well, got my spot. Uh, actually, it's here it is. 105 a.m. Mountain Time now. This would be Thursday morning. I-80 is still completely shut down um, both directions due to crashes, and I knew it would be. Uh, you know, here, I'll, oh, I need to show you the video why. So, yeah, as I was driving after I delivered in Rock Springs yesterday morning, Wednesday morning, um, then while I was sitting there at the Coca Cola distribution center uh, there in Rock Springs getting unloaded, they completely shut down everything behind me uh, coming westbound. And um, then I was just trying to make it to Salt Lake to pick up this load. Uh, let's back up a little bit because uh, when last we spoke, I was sitting here Sunday night. I got a load Monday, uh, yeah, that went to Denver like I talked about earlier, to Aurora, and then came back to Rock Springs. Uh, I knew I had to make it all the way to Rock Springs uh, Wednesday night, or Tuesday night, because they might shut the road down. Well, I made it there, and then, uh, yeah, now I'm trying to get from Rock Springs to Salt Lake to pick up a load to get me back to Denver. And my hope was then maybe if I delivered on Thursday, on Friday I could get something else local to add a little bit more money to the check and then go home for Christmas. Well, of course, you know, uh, they shut the road down and let's look at some of that uh, road video. This is just before I got to Fort Bridger, which is about the mile marker 31. Look, there's a car in the median over there sitting there going, uh, what happened? Now I'm sitting here in the snow. Well, what happens is the snow blows across the road, especially high altitudes like this in Wyoming. And uh, when it's, the temperature starts dropping, well, then it immediately turns to ice. And it doesn't really look like that's ice on the road, but it is. This is a webcam from near Laramie. Yeah, so needless to say, you can saw, see how bad that was. And I'm like, oh, they're definitely going to shut it down. And of course, while I was getting loaded in Salt Lake City at this place called Premier Plastics, uh, going to, uh, where is it? It was supposed to deliver, you know, later on today, uh, Intertech Medical in Denver. And of course, uh, I saw they shut the road completely down. I called the broker. And of course, then they called me back and said, well, they're gonna be closed on Friday and Monday. So yeah, that means I'm gonna be stuck with this load until Tuesday morning. So hopefully Tuesday, I, was, I wasn't planning to go back out till Tuesday anyway. So uh, just, I was hoping to get one more load on the week before Christmas, but that's okay. We're gonna do all right for this week. So uh, I kind of feel like this is like a, a Hallmark Christmas movie story or something because here I am trying to get home for Christmas. The roads are shut down because of the massive storm and blah, blah, blah. But uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty confident I'll be able to make it home Friday. When last I checked, they said uh, roads closed. Going to be like 16 hours before they open it, which means at the earliest Thursday afternoon. Well, the problem with that is then this is a lighter load. It's only 20,000 pounds. Still going to be windy, still going to be cold and icy. And then by the time I can get out there, well, then it's going to be dark. I'd rather drive in the daytime when I can see what the road's going to look like. So, no problem. As long as I can get home sometime on Friday. So, I'm about set, normally a seven hour drive from here to Cheyenne. But, you know, with icy roads and wind and a lighter load and everything, who knows? So, I think with any luck, what I can hope for is if the road's going to be open on Friday then uh, I can drive uh, home Friday, take my time, because I'm not delivering till Tuesday. Just need to make it to the Sap Brothers there in Cheyenne. I can drop my trailer, I can go home and spend Christmas with the fam. And so we can make a Hallmark miracle, baby. So yeah, just kind of funny. It turns into one of those bad uh, holiday Christmas movies. You know, Will he make it home for Christmas? Uh, at least it's not as cold here. 37 is what it is right now here in Salt Lake City. Look at how cold it is in Cheyenne. My wife sent me this from earlier. Feels like 45 below. Hello. So in the meantime here, compared to that, Rusty and I are doing just fine. We've got our reserved parking spot. Um, I went ahead and reserved it for tomorrow night as well. So we don't have to move again. Um, he's had his bacon strip. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Inside, oh, they had some of that Devour uh, White Cheddar Mac and Cheese frozen dinners. I got a couple of those. I found one of these <clears throat> somewhere last week. I don't remember where it was. And boy, is it delicious. 
they had a couple for sale inside the Sap Brothers there, so I got the freezer in the truck. But yeah, we'll have some of that, have some good food. Plus, I've got other, plenty of other food in here. So we're stocked. Rusty's got food. I've got food. Um, luckily, I filled the water tank when I was here just the other day. So I've got fresh water. We've got the toilet in the truck. I'm set, baby. I can sit here and wait until I need to drive home on Friday, hopefully. And we'll make it home for Christmas. I'll be home for Christmas. So there you go. All right. Uh, still e-log issues. It, 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 this went away uh, for about a day and a half, but it's back to that in malfunction state again. I really want to like this e-log because it's easy to deal with. It's easy to use. It integrates with all our other software. So the trips show up on there. So I don't even have to manually put all that in. I can just show when I've uh, arrived and when I've departed. Uh, it's just it keeps having this connection issue. And it, it's still having the sleeper birth issue. I did earlier today while I was at the Coca-Cola in Rock Springs, two hours and 15 minutes off duty there. So then I should have been able to do uh, eight hours in the sleeper birth. Well, remember I tried that now a couple of times and it doesn't seem to recognize the sleeper birth part. So I thought maybe it's programmed wrong. Let me try eight hours just off duty. And I tried that after I got here, I took a nap. I got up and now here it is, like I say, about 1.12 in the morning and it passed that point and uh, that didn't do it either. So it's got some issue. It recognizes the short break, but it doesn't recognize the long one in the sleeper birth to make the split sleeper birth thing work. So now I've got all the data I need. I've tested it in various ways. So while I'm sitting here tomorrow, might as well get on the phone to support there at trucking office and say, uh, what? So I can spend my time wisely doing that. And, um, oh, also I watched a great movie, um, a movie I didn't expect to like, honestly, called The Answer Man. Uh, let's see, uh, what's, who does it star? Jeff Daniels is in it. He's the main character. Laura, uh, Laura Graham. She was on, uh, what was that show about her and their daughter that was on Fox years ago? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, actually, a movie, uh, when I read the description of it, it was like, a world-renowned author, he throws out his back and falls for his chiropractor. And I'm like, oh, this sounds pretty cheesy. Actually, it's actually a very good movie. Um, like I say, I did not expect to like it, and I really did like it a lot. So if you're looking for something to watch, uh, if you're going to, the storm's coming through the Midwest, if you're going to be in that area and you're socked in, uh, it's on Prime Video right now. Go check that out. The Answer Man, uh, I would recommend it. It's, it's inspirational. It makes you feel all gooey inside. All right, so here we are. Pretty confident I'll be home for Christmas. Um, I just got to wait it out a little bit. I'm not going to drive. Uh, I'm not going to try to drive over Elk Mountain and everything across Wyoming at 7,000 feet uh, at night when it's dark and I can't see the road well. So I've got time. I got time. Uh, so as long as I can try to just take all day Friday to get home and drive as safe as possible so I can uh, have meet the fam and we'll have ourselves a good Christmas. So, uh, and of course then after that I'll, I'll make sure I get some good Christmas shots. Our family, uh, our family's goofy. We're all meatballs. And uh, we always just have lots of fun hanging out together, playing games. And uh, so we're going to have a good Christmas. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So... There you go. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Yeah, at least we're uh, a lot warmer here, right, Rusty, than at the house? So hopefully family is not freezing. I tell you, not too bad over here in Salt Lake. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. Please like and comment. Get to your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. Yeah, there's Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter, where I put all the Rusty stuff. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. I'm going to be taking over a uh, rover that's owned by NASA and driving it across Mars to another uh, vehicle that I have to take over without permission. And I'm technically in international waters, which makes me a pirate. Mark Watney, space pirate. All right, you're all ready? Oh, come on, don't cheat. Come down here first. And there it goes. All righty. All over that. Had to swap out the pet bed for the spare because there was a hole in the other one and he kept pulling fluff out of it. But we do have another one waiting for us at home that Junior sent us months ago that we'll now put in place here and then this one will be our spare again. Yeah. The way Rusty likes to dig in the pet bed, we always have to have a spare. Or sometimes we get a Rusty throwing up incident every now and then, right? Yeah. All over that begging strip, baby, yeah. We're just gonna sit here in Salt Lake, might as well get a treat. They had this 
devour white cheddar mac and cheese frozen dinner inside, so I'm going to be munching on that later. All right, think you got it. Happy dog look. Rusty! You got it, buddy. Look up here. Rusty, look. Rusty, up here. <laughs>